what's going on it's me back again with another video and the topic of today is going to be the river of life all right what I want to explain to you guys is there's two directions you can go in your life you can go with the flow or you can go against the flow and to pretty much make this extremely simple for you guys to understand I'm explaining to you this way if there's something that you want to attain in your life and you hold too much resistance towards it you think about it too much it's like you're fighting against the river you're doing as much as you can but you're not getting anywhere but if you just simply turn around and go the other way, you can float along the river, allowing what it is that you want to come to you. Of course, you got to take action. Faith without work is dead, of course. But this is for the people that are putting in action and aren't seeing the results that they want. It's because you have to hold the idea of what you want, right? And you have to let it go, right? Allow God to take care of the rest. You don't have to do that. That's God's job. You ask and you shall receive. See, when you stop trying to force your life to happen and you allow your life to happen, then you will start seeing changes. No matter if you're a business person. Oh, I'm not getting as many sales as I want. Oh, I'm not getting as many customers as I want. What am I doing wrong? See, what you're doing wrong is your thought process. So you put in the necessary action. You do your advertisement. You go door to door if you have to. And from that point, you let it go. You let it go and let God. You do your part and you completely take it out of your mind. And you do what makes you happy. Find a hobby. Do anything to get your mind off of what it is that you want. Because again... The more you try to force your life to happen, you're swimming up the river against it. It's hard. You're not getting anywhere. You're stuck in the same place. But I don't understand why I've done this and I've done that and I'm still not getting what I want. What am I doing wrong? That right there. That thought process. Do what you can do. Let it go and do something that makes you happy. Do something that makes you feel good. See, life is about feeling good, and you're supposed to live happy and stress-free and abundant. But you're trapped in a process of thoughts, and we need to get you flowing with the river instead of against the river so you can start getting the results and reaping the fruits that you want out of your life. It's not a very easy process to understand, and it's not a very easy process to learn. But that's why my messages aren't for everyone. It's for those who are willing to take a chance, and those who are willing to take a step out of their comfort zone to achieve the things that others may see as impossible or unattainable. It's all a part of the unrivaled mind process. You grow, you learn, and you repeat. See, a lot of people seems to be stuck in a river that goes around and around. It doesn't flow in a straight line of infinite abundance, infinite resources, infinite whatever you need. Just be patient and allow God to take care of the rest. See, there's power in believing. The faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Really grasp the idea of that. See, your faith comes when you let what you want go. So you hold it in your mind and you ask for it. But you got to be willing to receive it. You can't keep asking and asking and asking because you will never receive. You got to ask once. Give out good energy. Go on about your day. Live how you're supposed to live. Do the best you can do. And watch it end up right in the palm of your hands. Because least resistance is possible. Is what's going to get you to what you want. When you're flowing with the river. It's least resistance. 
See, flowing with the river is having a positive mindset, being okay with where you are, seeing eye to eye with the situation that you're in instead of demeaning yourself or hurting yourself or saying or doing something that devalues your view of who you are. You have to maintain a solid view no matter where you are. You could be on the top or you could be on the bottom. But as long as you feel the same, the results and the answers and everything that you need will always come to you. Because it don't matter where you start, it matters where you finish. Right? Where you start is irrelevant. You may not have the resources, the tools, or whatever it is to do or be what you want to be right now. But that's okay. Be okay with where you are. And go with the flow. And everything will work out just fine for you. Well that's it on this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Take this information and utilize it in your lives man. It's extremely important that you guys tune in on these messages. I mean maybe only a few will you know, be changed. But that's my whole mission. That's my whole mission. Can't change the whole world. But I can start somewhere. You guys like, comment, subscribe. On the next one.